Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Life of the Student Entrepreneur. Uh, if this is your first time watching, then thank you for supporting me. Um, and if you are returning, then once again, thank you uh, for believing in what I'm doing. So just a quick update on where I'm at. Um, this semester has honestly been a tough one. I've learned a lot, but I'm excited, honestly, about kind of the progress that I've made and what's to come. Um, I kind of want to take a pivot with this vlog, to be honest. I really wanted it to be interview focused when I originally came up with the idea, but I believe that personal development is going to be a major part of my journey, especially this semester. Um, over the past month or so, I've learned that there are some things that I need to be more disciplined about, uh, certain things that I want to change about my life in order to, I guess, perform more efficiently and optimize my performance. So I really want this vlog to be an opportunity for me to talk to other student entrepreneurs, hear about how they stay productive and what keeps them motivated but also kind of as a chronological diary, if you will, um, of my journey. And hopefully there will be some tactics along the way that you'll be able to grab and will benefit you as well. Um, so just an update, um, still taking some of the classes. So that has been fun, um, tough, but I'm actually really enjoying my classes. Um, this has just been a different semester. I've gotten a full roster of teachers who genuinely care about our success and are allowing us to be creative with our work product. And it's really allowed me to dream and figure out kind of what direction I want this semester to take. Um, I do need to be more diligent with my time management. I'm still committed in a lot of places right now, and that's actually part of my personal development journey that I plan to go on this semester. Um, I really want to get more clear about my goals and where I'm headed and figure out which of the commitments that I have right now are more streamlined with what I'm doing. Um, I feel like I'm giving half effort in a lot of different areas and nothing suffered so far, but in order for me to be satisfied with the product that I'm putting out and what I'm putting my name on, I want to be able to fully focus on one or two things and truly, truly take it as far as I can take it. Um, you know, between school, clubs, my internship, all of it has been really great. I've met so many new people, made so many new connections, and I've really just worked on being vulnerable and telling people where I am at. And the response that I've gotten has been amazing. Uh, so many people are so much more receptive and they almost light up when you tell them something that they realize maybe you weren't fully comfortable telling them or maybe you haven't told anyone else. And just the conversations that I've had over the past month with some longtime friends and even some people that I newly met um, has truly been life-changing and really opened my eyes um, to how similar we are, but how much there is to learn. Um, I've been soaking up so much information, it feels like I never have time to process it because from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I'm listening to podcasts, I'm in lectures, I'm at my internship where there's just so much knowledge. Um, I'm talking to friends, I'm at lunch with this person, I'm interviewing this person. It just feels like I'm always gathering but never processing. So... That's why I really want to get streamlined in what I'm committed to. And I am planning on taking some action steps towards that. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is list out my commitments, list out my goals, and then 
cross out things that aren't aligned with my goals. I feel like at the end of the day, I'll be more satisfied and fulfilled knowing that everything that I did that day aligned with where I'm going uh, rather than, you know, just like I said earlier, giving a lot, uh, giving half effort in a lot of places and not really, you know, focusing on one or two things. So that's my plan for this week. Also, my friend Christian, he uh, he taught me about a seven-day action plan. Um, just dedicating 30 minutes to an hour every day for seven days on something that you feel uh, that, that you really want to do that day. So whether it's taking a 60-minute walk uh, with no music, just listening to your thoughts, uh, whether it's sitting down and writing out your one, three, five-year plan or goals, uh, just something that, you know, you feel like you need to do, but that you never make time to because we all are too busy. Um, that's my plan for this next week. So I'm not going to share it with you now, but I'm going to write it down um, and I plan to embark on this journey and I'll definitely share the results with you my next video. Um, I also intend on interviewing my friend Will. Uh, he owns Nippy Clothing Company and I just want to hear about his his journey as a student entrepreneur um, and also hear more about what advice he has to give to people who are maybe considering entrepreneurship for the first time. Um, so I look forward to that interview. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Um, and I look forward to continuing on this journey. Thank you.